Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna quickly walk you through the steps on how to set up solo mining Bitcoin Cash with your Avalon Nano 3. So what we need to do is we need to find this screen right here and you can cycle through the different screens by clicking on this button right there. We need to grab this IP address that we can see in the upper left hand corner of this screen. We're going to write that down so that we can enter it into our web browser and use that to change the mining specifications. Of course, that number is likely going to be different for you on your miner than what I showed you here with mine. But once we have that number taken down, then what we need to do is go over to a web browser. Over on my web browser here, I'm typing in that number for me. It was 192.168.50.59. And of course, for this to work, you need to be hooked up to the same internet connection with your miner as you are with either the computer or the phone that you are typing this IP into in a web browser. That's how we're gonna be able to connect up and change the information that we need to. So I'm connected to my home internet connection on both my computer and my Bitcoin miner. So with those numbers typed in, clicking enter, you'll get this login page. If you haven't changed the admin and password, they're both going to be root. So entering those in and then logging in is going to take us to this page. And then what we want to do from here is head on over to our configuration tab. And right now I'm set up for solo mining Bitcoin. I'm going to change this to solo mining for Bitcoin cash. I'll link this page down in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. It has information for different mining pools. Make sure you're selected on Bitcoin Cash. It'll have the Bitcoin Cash mining pools here. And the solo mining pool that I'm going to set up for this video is LuckyMonster.pro. And the nice thing about mining pool stats is it has all of these different miners that you can check out. And then when you click on whichever miner you want to use, it'll take you over to another page where you can find the information that you need. So I'm going to be doing this for Bitcoin Cash. And this one has a nice little tool here where we can enter in how long it'll take us to find a block. So let's say I'm mining at about four terahash. So I can type in four terahash and then we can see that it'll take me about 17 years to find a block. But that's significantly better than finding a block with Bitcoin to show you the difference here. If I type in four terahash there, you can see it's almost 3,800 years. So finding a Bitcoin cash block a bit more doable potentially with one of these Avalon Nano miners and why you might want to prefer solo mining with that as opposed to Bitcoin. It's a lotto miner either way, but at least that Bitcoin cash, it's a little bit more doable. But the information that I want to take down here is the pool URL. So I'm going to copy this down and then I'm going to head back to my device and I'm going to enter that pool information in right here. And you don't have to set up these other pools if you don't want to. Basically, it's just backup pools, potentially, if you're running into issues with the first pool that you have entered in here, but not really necessary, especially if you're keeping an eye on your mining every once in a while to see if there is any issues that arise. And then the worker is going to be our Bitcoin Cash wallet address. And I'm just going to grab this off of my crypto.com wallet. So launching the crypto.com app over on my smartphone. And what I want to do here is click on where it says accounts. And then I'm going to click on my crypto wallet. And since this is going to be transferring in Bitcoin Cash, if I'm able to mine a block, what I want to do is click on the transfer option right here. And then this, of course, would be a deposit if I happen to get a block. And I'm going to search for Bitcoin Cash. So selecting the Bitcoin Cash option and selecting the network. And we can see right here it has that Bitcoin wallet address. So I'm going to copy this down. And then that wallet I'm going to paste here in the worker area. And then if you'd like to name your worker at the end of our wallet address, we're going to enter in a period and then we can name it whatever we want. I'm going to name it BCH Avalon Nano 3. And then I'm going to save that information. And now at this point, I'm going to reboot. So clicking on the reboot and then clicking OK. And you just need to give it a little bit of time, but your device will reboot after a handful of seconds. And we're going to re-log back in with our username and password. And it will take a little bit of time, but you'll start to see that that hash rate should start to ramp up after a couple of minutes. You can watch it here from this page just to make sure that everything gets going and running properly. But that'll wrap this one up. So I hope this quick tutorial was helpful going over how to set up solo mining for Bitcoin Cash on your Avalon Nano 3. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.